Our performance has been so bad recently. I need to talk to the people in charge. Tell them to come into the meeting room right away one by one. The overall inventory the neighbor should consider is traffic capacity. Neighbor operates several kinds of businesses, but they all have a common foundation called the web. Therefore, for neighbor, the web service is itself a product and a foundation for other services. Therefore, traffic capacity, a means of providing web, server, web services, is neighbor's inventory. By the above, traffic capacity has a dependent demand characteristics. Therefore, it is necessary to move in line with the demand point of other services, not just the demand point of the web itself. The two most important characteristics of performing quality management of these web services are responsiveness and reliability. Reliability means accessible time ratio. Responsive responsiveness refers to the speed at which a web service responds when it encounters a problem, meaning fixing time. Annual MTTM which stands for mean time to mitigate, shows average time required to fix problems occur in web service. Therefore, MTTM is a railway for responsiveness. Annual CTTM stands for cumulated time to mitigate, shows total time spent to fix problem. It shows reliability of the web service. As mentioned at right under space, the numbers are made by errors whose TTM is above 10 minutes. By adopting SRE, Securing Reliability Engineering, since 2018, the neighbor has succeeded to reduce CTTM, which means they success to secure the reliability. Inventory management should, should also be accompanied for traffic capacity. There are some main factors that can affect traffic demand forecast. One is new media and new method of communication. As you can see, specific media has a large amount of total traffic. Therefore, when new type of media occurs, neighbors should analyze the estimated traffic required for the new media. Also, new method of communication should be considered. As you can see, introduction of fourth generation communication methods change the total requirement of traffic rapidly. Considering that sixth generation, the gen next generation communication method is much faster than that of before, we can assume that change in traffic requirements will be enormous. Lastly, neighbors should take outliers into account to deal with reliability. As you can see, when event occurs in this graph, earthquake traffic of website spikes 6.1 times larger than normal time. Therefore, when making forecast, neighbors should consider average traffic requirements and outliers both. Okay, our report on the commerce business. As you can see on the slide, commerce is a cash cow in BCG matrix. According to the NSO, the transaction amount of e-commerce was 210 trillion. They ever currently holds about 20% of the market share and competes with coupon by a narrow margin of 1%. Revenue was 606 billion. Along with the search platform, it is a major business sector of labor. Competition is very fierce in the open market platform. The three leading companies have about 84% of the market, according to the FSS. The threat of entry is gradually decreasing. The strong competition system causes price wars with lower fees to attract sellers. The bargaining power of the supplier is moderate. The suppliers in the e-commerce market are mainly manufacturers and logistics companies. For manufacturers, distribution channels are of high importance. As the e-commerce market grows, the importance of online distribution channels in, is increasing. In the case of logistics companies, the importance of differentiated service is increasing. The bargaining power of buyers is strong because of the raw switching cost. The threat of substitutes is high. However, 
Never has a strong competitive advantage in the open market platform. Weber strength lies in its link from search to sales and payment to rise sticks. Since Naver has a search engine with the largest market share in Korea, consumers can spend reasonably by comparing by prices of online shopping malls. Naver provides consumers with a value of diversity through B2C smart stores and vertical stores. In addition, Naver Financial pays 100% of the standard amount of money that they have to deliver it to smart store operators. Naver members will be provided with up to 5% of the paying monthly amount as points when paying through Naver Pay. Naver can reduce the state's costs through NFA, Naver Fulfillment Alliances. In 2020, Naver signed a mutual equity partners with the CJ Group. It established strategic alliances through a large scale exchange of 600 billion in shares. Their goal is to develop both commerce and content. In the case of Rustix, they will be able to use a stable distribution infrastructure without incurring huge costs. Through CJ's distribution channel, they will can deliver increasing orders. In addition, a smart Rustix system can be established by elaborating digital systems. In the case of content, Naver can strengthen the video OTT part, which is CJ's strength. And CJ can expect to generate synergy in terms of imaging of IP. CJ ENM will be able to provide a video based on Naver IP exclusively. Studio Dragon can produce premium video content using Naver's webtoons and novels. Never can build a business model that distributes reduced content through overseas social channels or sells it to global already. Now I will brief about the current situation of Naver Webtoon. Our company mainly targets paid users to improve the profitability index. This is to earn money from the lucrative domestic market and invest the money in the foreign market, which is currently suffering from operating loss. Currently, Naver Webtoon is the industry leader in the domestic market, with 87% of Webtoon users using our service as a primary Webtoon platform. We concluded that our platform now is a habit for the users. The profitability index for the domestic market shows that 26% of the monthly active users are paid users. On the other hand, the index for US market is only 4% and Japanese market 8%. Focusing on the fact that these countries have higher willingness to pay per customer, we currently aim to improve its ratio of paid users up to 20% in the next three years by actively investing in these markets. To better invest in these foreign markets, making sure that we make more revenue in the domestic market is crucial. To increase the market share, increasing the number of intellectual property is the most important thing to do. We focused on the one-source, multi-use strategy. By exporting the company's many intellectual property to global OTT services, we may induce many of the OTT users into our loyal customers. This was proved by the examples of Hellbound and All of Us Are Dead which are exported from our company to Netflix. Changing the way our users pay might be the second most important factor in improving our profitability model. Currently, the company uses cookie refill system to induce the users to keep charging the money. However, this is not enough. According to the FY22 income statement, our main competitor Kakao Page is staying ahead of us in terms of its sales revenue while they have much lower monthly active users. Therefore, we need to benchmark our competitor's profitability model. We suggest expanding our current free after 24 hours policy from completed PCs to current PCs. Moreover, subscription model may also be helpful. The average revenue per paying user for Naver Webtoon is currently around 9,001 
in the domestic market. If you simply divide it into a daily basis, paid users pay around 301, which is just 2 to 3 cookies per day. If we implement a subscription model benchmarking Netflix, charging around 5,000 won per month, it will be a benefit for both the company and the users itself because it is going to make constant cash flow. Our new IDC project is expected to impact on cloud service market. We assume that new IDC has the same scale and sales impact with the Gak Sejong, which will operate from 2024. We assume sales impact will occur after IDC construction. For analyzing specific sales impact, we define few growth rates. First, our firm will grow about 23% in 5 years based on market research of our business units. After 5 years, our firm will grow up to 2.6% because of competing market saturation. But we believe new IDC projects give additional growth of about 20%. We set three additional costs with project. Depreciation cost will calculate as 10 years trade method of 650 billion won. Networking capital will calculate as multiplying sales and networking capital ratio based on 2022 data. In case of capex, we only consider cloud section and inflation. After all, we tried to figure out how to finance this new IDC project. As a conclusion, our firm should form optimal capital structure to finance 650 billion won. Current capital structure of our firm has 19% of DE ratio, 7.3% of WACC, and AA plus of credit rating. By analyzing optimal DE ratio and credit rating, we found 49% of DE ratio with AA minus credit rating derived the lowest WACC of 7% which lead to a highest firm value. So, our finance team claimed that our firm should issue more debt to make ideal D ratio and finance 318.5 billion won from equity and 331.5 billion won from debt. Finally, our team evaluated new project based on analysis taken before. We established cash flow table with our data about sales impact. We did IRR test and this project's IRR was derived with 9.2%. For specific result, we discount this cash flow with our new WACC of 7% and calculate MPB. As a result, this project's MPB is about 117 billion. Since IRR is larger than WACC and MPB is larger than zero, strongly argued to launch new IDC project. They all prepared well. Let's look forward to neighbor's successful future.